have with me one of my favorite book, The Y Book. This book is published by National Geographic Society. And the author of this book is Crispin Boyer. I'm studying in grade 4 and I love EVS. You get to know about the surroundings, about plants, about animals and everything. But when I study EVS, I have so many doubts. And I got this book at the correct time. This book was gifted to me by my grandfather. Thank you, Williapa. Now let me show you the contents. I have a two-year-old sister and she too loved this book. And this is her artwork. This is the condensed page. This book covers a lot of topics. The total content is divided into seven chapters. Chapter 1. Your body. Why me? Chapter 2. Our planet. Why on earth? Chapter 3, The Universe, Why in the Sky? Chapter 4, History, Why, Where and When? Chapter 5, Technology, Wi-Fi? Chapter 6, Animals, Wild Wise? Chapter 7. Pop Culture For some people, science articles are a little boring to read, but not in this book. Show you some interesting facts. Why do some people eat insects? What do bugs taste like? Wow, that's a pretty interesting thing to know. Giant water bugs taste like salty Jolly Ranger candy. Ooh. Grasshoppers taste like spicy popcorn. Mmm, yummy. <laughs> Scorpions taste like funky and bitter, like spoiled crab meat. Ooh. Why are my eyes green or brown or Wow, are there any other eye colors? How common is my eye color? Here it is written most common. And here it is written least common. Brown, blue, hazel. Hazel is a brownish green. Green, gray, amber, red and violet. Amber, red, or violet is the least common and blue and brown are the most common ones. Woo! Your galaxy at a glance. The galaxy is so shimmering. Wow! The solar system. The sun is burning. Ah! The hottest planet is Mercury. And the coldest planet is Neptune. And you will be wondering, where is Pluto? Pluto is no longer considered as a planet. And Jupiter is the biggest one. And this is Earth, where we live. And now here is the question. Why is Pluto no longer considered as a planet? Shrinking thinking machines. In this page, you will see the old computers. ENIAC. I have studied this in my computer textbook. This book has more than 200 pages. Crispin Boy has dedicated this book to his friend who always asks the tough questions. This is the back cover of the book. So, why should you read 
this book. This book is absolutely perfect for curious minds like me. And for the ones who ask, why? But why? Why? This book has cleared many of my doubts and I'm sure it will benefit you too. Thanks for watching. Bye. Curious kids need answers. You're never too young, too old or too smart to learn something new.